My dear brothers and sisters, we continue this word of God whereby God is teaching us how to repair the uh, foundation on which we are we have been building our life. Uh, you know, we started by hearing that we'd like to, to get a wonderful life. Yes, because God created us in his own image and likeness. And that he made us his heirs and the princes and the princes of his kingdom. Therefore, we are destined to live a wonderful life. It's not what we see happening in our life. And God tells us that it is not his, him to be blamed. But it's us to be blamed because we are responsible of all the problems we have been uh, enduring in our life. And we, we saw uh, a man like us whose name is Esau, a man who was, pre, who was a destined to, to enjoy a wonderful life, ambassadorial life royal life, presidential life. Really, it was a man whose life is there to be, to be, uh, to be uh, enjoyed by really all the children of God who have accepted Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. We are the heirs and the princes in the kingdom of God. But we saw that a soul himself sold him out to his brother only because of a plate a plate of food my brother my sister and now when it came the time that he came out of sleep when now he started to live now when he started to to stop the jokes that he used to be in, all the pleasures of this world to become now someone. When now I think he grew up and he said, now I am responsible enough to enjoy my, 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 my birth rights. Now it was too late because he had already sold his birth rights. And but the good news is that his father Isaac told him, though you have sold out your rights, though someone else has been blessed or has taken your blessings um, uh, on your behalf, not on your behalf, but has taken what was due to you, he took it. But I have good news, at least for you. It's that if you want to live, you can live another life, another blessed life. This is what I always tell you, that our God is a God of a second chance. You have messed up with your first life. You have messed up with your first life and someone else took it from you. I always tell you that in the kingdom of darkness, they understand these things. They, they are spying on you. They are spying on your family. They know how great will be your family. They know how great will be one of your, the members of your family. Therefore, they follow him even before he or she was born. They steal his or her uh, star. Or they change the star. Or they, 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 they transfer your blessings to someone else. They make you live where you, sh you should. Uh, you, you, uh, it was not, you were not supposed to live. They made you marry uh, someone you would have not married. They make you suffer 
losses in your business when you should, you would have not made them. Why? Because they know already whom you will become. Therefore, brothers and sisters, we will know that we will become great people if you are not say that someone or something has happened in my life. And now it's your turn now to stand up and say, I'm going to, to restore my life. Now, our God is a God of second chance. Now that you have messed with your, you have messed up with your, your life in the first time. Now, here again, he's giving you a second, a second one, a second chance. So that also you may enjoy your life. Yes, now, if we have been crying, if we have been sad for all these years, now, I, I, I invite you to start laughing because something good is happening now. Yes, and right now as I'm speaking, now I invite the power of God to come upon you. And I invite the faith of God to come upon you so that you understand that what I'm telling you is not a joke. That what I'm telling you, it's, it's something real. And that is going to happen if you are willing. Because God works with those who are willing. He wanted to work with a sow, but a sow. Played, uh, played his jokes. He refused. He closed the doors. And Jacob, who was not supposed now to, to take the blessings of, uh, of Esau, Jacob was not in the plan of God. Now he jumped in and he told God, I'm willing to work with you. It's how now Jacob was blessed instead of uh, of uh, I am Esau. Therefore, if you are you too, you are willing today. It's time to tell God now. I am willing. Work with me. Bless me. Oh, let me tell you, my brother, my sister. Your cries, your tears are insignificant before God. Whenever you have messed, messed up with your life and you come crying, oh, begging God, please, I want to get married, please, I want money, please do this. Then. No, it's too late. The only tears that can move God are the tears that you tell, that are telling God, I want to repair my, 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 what, my foundation. I want to come back to you. I now want to come and to serve you. I want now to come and do your will. I want now to come and be restored to my former state. That, I tell you that your tears will be valuable before God. But when you come, oh God knows that I have been uh, sleeping an uh, 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 empty stomach. No, that is nonsense. You are poor because of you. You are hungry because of you. Now come back and God will give you a second chance. Now Isaac now gave his son a second chance. He told him, now, though your brother has taken your blessings, though now you are no longer my firstborn, oh, though you are no longer going to enjoy what I had prepared for you, though you will no longer be the ambassador of God here on the earth, now that you will no longer be my uh, my uh, the one in my place in my place, but I give you a second chance. You will live. You will also be blessed. Now take your sword. Let me tell you. Here, listen to me first. It is not Isaac who will make his son again to be blessed or to to do what. To, to, to live. No, brothers and sisters, uh, the problem we have in the kingdom of God is that people, they just want to sit idle 
folding their arms, crossing their legs, and they think that things will get happened, will get done by themselves in their life. No, that is a great mistake that you will also come to regret. The Christians nowadays, they are just lazy people. They are idle. They are sad. They are just there. They just want to eat, but they don't work for it. They think that they want things, but they do not work for them. They want to drive a good, a, a heavy, a heavy jeep, a heavy, a, a expensive Benz, but they do not work for it. How will you get it? Are you going to steal? Are you going to kill? No, that is not a a, 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 a divine a, a divine miracle. It's not a divine um, blessing. Don't be like those people. They go. They they they, they go to, to 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 they involve themselves in a fornication or in a uh, in what adultery prostitution. They get money and they come to give uh, testimonies. Oh, God has given me. No, it is not a, a God-given money. You go to the witches, uh, you receive uh, the, 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 the so-called medicine, and you come to the church and say, I was sick and God healed me. No, it is not God. Whatever you have not uh, gotten from a divine way, God way, don't come and say it's God who did it. No. There are four people in the church. Christians, you should come out of laziness and you work. There are four. Isaac told him, you will live, but you have to work for it. By your sword, by your sword. You must have something. Yes, God asked the Moses, what do you have in your hand? Yes, it's the will of God. It's the will of Isaac that his son may be blessed. But it is not Isaac, but it will be his son himself. Brother and sister, I do not know for, uh, for what you have been crying. I do not know what you want, but I am here just to warn you. It is from you. The world has become selfish. The world has become too busy to think to their brothers and sisters. Yes, the world has become too busy to think about the parents who gave birth to them. Oh, yes, let me tell you, the world has become too busy and selfish whereby spouses are no longer sharing, whereby one forgets another. The children nowadays write to ask uh, requests from their fathers and their mothers, but they do not receive. So where do you expect this world to help you from? It's up to you. It's up to you to stand up. It's up to you to come out of sleep. Oh, the Bible says in the book of uh, Proverbs chapter 6 and verse 6, the Bible says where God is comparing a human being or is telling a human being to go to the ants. Do not the small, um, what, insects, ants. Say, go and run from them. Wonderful. But really, it's sad. Whereby ants have are wiser than human beings. Ants are wiser than the Christians who are children of God. They do not have any leader, but they can work by themselves. They know what to do without being pushed by anyone. They know where to go. They know how, when to work. In the rains, in the seas, in the dry season, they work hardly day and night to prepare 
the food they will get or they will be eating all the wet season, the rainy season, when they could not go out because the floods will kill, will kill them. So they go underground, underground, they stay there enjoying life that they prepared before when they were still, they were still time. Brothers and sisters, it's time now to prepare. You are still young. You can work still. You are young. So that's what you, you are preparing your old days. You are, you have to prepare your tomorrow, today. That's why we say, we say, we say, your tomorrow will be better than today. But you prepare your tomorrow, today. If you do not work today, you do not have tomorrow. Now the Bible says that now Isaac told him, buy your sword, buy your something, buy your wisdom, buy your knowledge, buy your faith, buy your determination. You have to do something so that you may live. The Bible says that Isaac told him, by your sword, your sword, you will live. The sword is the word of God. The word, is, the sword is the word of the Holy Spirit. The Bible says in the book of Joshua, chapter one, verse five through eight, the Bible says, oh. Uh, Joshua, you are the one. He called him now, as he had called Esau. You are the one to take my people to the promised land. You are the one to make my plan fulfilled, materialized. But to, to reach there, Listen to me. It is not an easy, an easy way. Life is not an easy way, an easy thing. Life is hard. You will go. You read the promised land, but before you reach there, you have to fight. Brothers and sisters, the life of a Christian, it's a fighting. It's a combat. Oh, brothers and sisters, let me tell you. I am not one of those preachers or teachers who said that when you get saved, when you get a Christian, now it's finished. You fold your arms, you cross your legs because the break is heaven. Everything is okay. Never. The life of a Christian is what is fighting. It's wars. Every day you have to fight, to fight. The only thing here I want you to understand, we are not fighting for victory because we are already, we got already victory in Jesus' name. We got victory in the blood of Jesus. We got victory in the word of God because Jesus said, you will win because me too I won. Hallelujah. Meaning that we, there is no no fighting. It's fighting, but which is already gained. The Bible says a child whose name was David in the book of First Samuel chapter seventeen. The Bible says while the whole the entire country, the whole country of Israel, was shaking because of only one man called Goliath. The Bible says that when David, the small David, came, the Bible says it's him who killed the Goliath. Why? Because he was filled with the Holy Spirit. It is not David, but the Spirit of God in David. Why did he kill Goliath? Because he had the Word of God. What was the Word of God for him, in him? It's that God has chosen you to be the king of Israel. <laughs> he had heard that word before even killing, uh, seeing Goliath. Therefore, you too, Christian, 
born again. There are promises that God gave unto you. There is a plan of God in your life that you know very well. Oh, whoever will touch you will be touching the apple of my eye. Meaning that when you go to fight, it is not you fighting, but it's God fighting for you because you are the apple of his eye. <laughs> oh, you will fight and you will win because I won. This is the promise of God we have. The Bible says, go. In my name you will cast demons out. We have that assurance. Oh, the Bible says, by the testimony of his word and by the blood of the love of the, of the, the living God, the blood, by the blood, we defeat all our enemies. <laughs> Hallelujah. So, now, why are you afraid? When I tell you that life of a Christian is... Uh, a series of of, of 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 fighting you are you are you fear no don't fear the bible says that ah god told now joshua though you are going to live a a life full of fighting meaning that the life your life your life joshua is to fight to fight day after day, all the days of your life. But as God, I give you a way out. This word of mine, this word of the Holy Spirit, let it never come out of, uh, away from your hands and from your mouth. Read it every day and every night. Meditate upon it and practice what it says to do. <laughs> Hallelujah. This is the secret. Today I have come to disclose the secret of success in your life. The secret of to repair the foundation on which you have been building your life that has not been a life but has been a what? Something. A failure. Your life has been a failure. In fact, you are not living, you, you are dead. But today, God is disclosing to you the way out. How you can once again be in his image and likeness. It's to read the word of God. It's to meditate upon it. And it's to do what it instructs you to do. <laughs> Hallelujah. Do you understand? The word of God is what we need. In fact, my people perish for lack of knowledge. Isaiah, Hosea chapter 4 verse 6. What was no, that knowledge that people do not have? It's the word of God. Brother and sister, do you, do you know what? When you are filled with the word of God, Colossians 3.16 Let the word of God live in you richly. When Satan and the demons in the kingdom, when they see the word of God in you, the word of God is a fire. Hallelujah. When now they see, they see you, they have seen the word of God in you and they have seen fire. And they run away. When they look at you, they see who? They see Jesus, hallelujah, who is the word of God. John chapter 1 verse 1. Therefore they know that Jesus defeated them. They run away. In Jesus' name, demons, demons run away. In Jesus' name, Satan falls down. Now, what is now? The meaning of this fighting. We should not even think about it. We just know that our life, whenever Satan, Satan comes to us to fight against us, you just say in Jesus' name, he falls down, he runs away. Sickness and disease in Jesus' name, they run away, they go. Prostate enrichment, fire in Jesus' name. By the stripes of Jesus Christ, I have been made the whole I am healed. And it runs away. Just speak the name of Jesus. 
Just mention the name of Jesus, speak the word of God, command the mountain to come out of where it has been, and command it to, 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 uh, to go anywhere it will go. What is that mountain? Your mountain, AIDS, HIV, cancer, any sickness, any incurable sickness. You call yourself a great mountain. Who are you before the children of God? You sit down and we step on you in Jesus' name. Because we have to make a stepping stone as we, we jump, as we jump toward our promised land. Hallelujah. Whether you like it or not, we are going to be restored to our former state in the likeness and the image of God. Hallelujah. Now the Bible says that you, but you will live by your strength. This word is the word that we will use to have knowledge, to have wisdom, to have power, to have training, to have uh, capacity building in everything. And when we have the word of God, we have God in us. If you love me, you will do what I command you to do. Now God wants us to be fed every day of his word. This is what we have to do. And now as we are reading the word of God, not only we have the wisdom and knowledge, but also we have a power, we have a faith. We have faith and we have power. Because the next step is after you are living by your, your son, the Bible says, Isaac told him, now you will get, you will gain dominion. <laughs> you will get what? Dominion. You will get faith. And after that, you will break the yoke that your enemy had put on your neck. <laughs> there was no other way for Isaac to deliver himself from Jacob. It's only by his sweat and the day he will learn the word of God. The word of God will tell him you are suffering, but you should not be suffering. You are slave while you were meant to be the prince. But there is a way to get back to your, your position that the enemy has sold from you. And you will now say, Enough is enough. He has stolen me. But in Jesus' name, I've been given power and authority to restore whatever the enemy has stolen from me. Hallelujah. And it's then that you will command now the yoke around your neck to be broken. And because now you have known who you are, you are no longer that prostitute. You are no longer that, uh, that common man. You are no longer that, uh, that, uh, that man without faith. Now you have become the Spirit of God has now come into you. And it is working by you and through you and with you. Now with the Holy Spirit, you know, no matter who is that demon, no matter who is that sin, that sin no matter who, what is that, uh, um, uh, that anything, any, you are more than a conqueror. It's not God delivering you. It's not your brother. It's not your, your father. It's not your mother delivering you. But the Bible says, when you, you have gotten dominion, you have gotten knowledge, you have gotten faith, you will, it's you who will break the yoke that the enemy. It's you who will change.
the position where the enemy had to put you in, had to put you in. It's you who will open now the door that the enemy had to cross and lock you behind. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, brother and sister. It is possible for you to change your situation. Yes, you can. Because others have done it. They were dogs, but today they are big people in society. They are rich people. They are prostitutes, but today their mothers are in their homes, in their families. They are useless, but today they are socially responsible people. They were killers, but today they are now humanitarian actors in society, even internationally. Brother and sister, the Bible says that you will break the yoke that the enemy has put on your neck. Now, Jesus told you, these are the signs that will follow anyone who will have accepted me as Lord and Savior. In my name, you will cast demons out. You will lay my hands on the sick and they will be healed. Go and raise the dead. If you believe, you will do the great things I've done. You have been seeing me doing. Even the greater ones, you are going to do them. Brother and sisters, there is nothing impossible with God. Today we are going to change our lives. You have been living in a family where poverty is your foundation. You know how you should pray. You should be informed how did poverty enter in your family. In you. Now we are talking about Esau. We know how problems came to Esau. It's himself who denied, who didn't want to work with God, and he chose the pleasures of this world. Instead of receiving, instead of working with God, instead of making uh, 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 his life number one, he wanted the pleasures of this world. How did the spirit of poverty land into your life? How did barrenness land in your life? How did failures and, and, and everything bad landed in your life? And that, if you know it, you, de you now renounce it, you denounce it, and you renounce it, and you separate yourself from them, and you make Jesus to be your Lord and Savior. You cry, you tell God, I come back to you now. Today, I want to serve you. Today, I am your ambassador. Today I abrogate, I nullify, I run the none and void all the alliances and covenants and all, mm, all MOU and signed with the kingdom of Zeta. We run them none and void. Today I am a child of God. Today I eat the word of God. I am led by the word of God. I'm, I read it every day. I meditate upon it. And I do what it tells me to do. And you will see. Your life will no longer be the same again. Your enemies will, 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 will become your friends. Yes, those who have stolen new things, they will restore them to you. Oh, I'm telling you, you will no longer be the tail, you will be the head. In the name of Jesus Christ, those who have stolen 
and your things they will bring them in the name of Jesus Christ. And you will become in your former state in the likeness of God and his likeness. And whatever you will be saying, it will be coming. It will be coming to pass. Hallelujah. May God bless you. Brother and sisters, I will not be like you to be to be the, in the life like a, a, a son. We have been reading the book and the, the, the Bible, but I have never seen where now the children of a son are blessed. On the contrary, everywhere in all the books of the Bible, it's just to say a son who is uh, uh, also known as a dog. He is also known as Edom. Edom and Edomites. Whenever it is or you read it, it's just curses, curses upon them because they are enemies of God. Though his his father told him, You will you can be blessed, but I am I am afraid he did he was not blessed because he didn't do anything to change his life. On the contrary, he has been refusing the children of Israel the way to pass to the land of, uh, of uh, uh, Canaan, promised land. He has been fighting against Israel all the days of the Bible. Today, as I, con I, I conclude here, don't be the enemy of God. Don't be the enemy of God. Love the things of God. Love the kingdom of God. Love the people of God. Let God be happy about you. He refused to work with God. He refused to be the representative of God. He refused to, uh, to do anything with God. He just wanted to, to go far, far away from God. That's why he became the enemy of God. That's why now his life became a failure, a failure, starting the day he refused to serve God up to day. I've been hearing about the children of Jacob, the children of Israel, but never, we no longer talk about the children of, 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 of Esau, Edomite. Even if they are there, they are mixed with the other people. They have been swallowed by the, the, the world. May God bless you. There is a way to enjoy life. This is to serve God, to love God, to be God number one, to love the things of God, and to read the word of God, to meditate upon it, and to do what it is asking it instructs us to do, and to be filled with the Holy Spirit, to conquer. To, to conquer, conquer our, our enemies, enemies and, and to enjoy, enjoy your life. May, may God, God bless, bless you. God, God has given, given you, you the second, second chance. chance. This, this word is really powerful, powerful to, to change, change your life. life. What, what, how do you want, want your life, life to look like? like? Don't, Don't worry. worry. You, you can, can make, make it. it. In, in Jesus' name. name. I, I love you. This, this, this is what I was so saying. I was so saying. That I love you very, very much. much. Really, may, may God, God bless, bless you. Uh, my, my YouTube, YouTube channel is, is Apostle Augustine Giratuari. And, and my mm, number of WhatsApp, WhatsApp is plus two five six seven eight six four six. 57, 71. May God bless you. Father, once, once again, again, I bless, bless you, people. You are, you are the God, God of the second chance. chance. You have just given us the second chance. chance. No, no matter how, how deep your, your people have fallen, fallen into, 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 but God, God there, there, there is, is now the word, word of God, God that the can of God. God. Make, Make them, them out of that, that, that deep, deep, uh, deep uh, pit. God, God, I know, know. No, no matter, matter what, what they, they have been in, in you are in, there, there is no father that, that, that God, God you can get not not to, uh, take, take people from. from. There, there, there is, is a God, God and no, no problem, problem that you can not deliver us from. from. There, there, there is, is nothing, nothing that, that can get and defeat you, you, God. We bless, bless you, and honor you. Now, now I, I pray that, that the faith, faith of God may come out of your people. In Jesus' name I pray and I believe. Amen.